chapter 18 explores government, public sector and not-for-profit strategies. There are two main reasons why this deserves a special chapter. The first is that the public sector in every nation around the world is important. Even for high-income countries such as the United States of America, where many services are devolved to the private sector, the wealth expended on the public sector is over 30% of gross national product. In other words, every country spends considerable sums on its public sector. The second reason is that public sector strategy is more complex and involves factors that do not apply in the private sector. For example, in the public sector, local and national police force, there is no question of delivering a profit on the police budget and value for money for policing services needs considerable clarification if it's to have any meaning at all. An additional difficulty facing the business strategist in defining concepts for the public sector is that for many years there have been theories on public sector administration. And these have in fact been around longer than those on business strategy. This means that there is another stream of intellectual thought that needs to be considered in re-examining business strategy for its application to the public sector. And it's not possible in this chapter to explore all the many public sector administration theories that have been developed. The approach of the chapter has therefore to be to focus only on those that have a direct connection with the rest of the book. Within these general comments, the chapter structure then follows the structure of the rest of the book, starting with analysing the public environment, then analysing the organisation's resources within the public environment, then defining the organisation's purpose as a public sector organisation, then examining strategy development within this, and finally implementing a public sector strategy. We briefly consider each of these areas in turn. In public sector strategy, the analysis of the strategic environment is more complex than in the private sector. The main reason is that public sector strategy involves the wide-ranging and ill-defined subject of the public interest. The public interest concerns both the objectives and the institutions that make and implement public decisions. There are two main public sector models, the centrally directed model, sometimes called dirigiste, and the free market model, sometimes called laissez-faire. The market mechanism is the means by which the state uses market pricing and quasi-market mechanisms to determine the supply and demand of goods that were previously state monopolies. Individual countries have their own views on this as a matter of policy, so strategy in the public sector needs to be considered on a country-by-country -country basis. There is a related concept of public value. This refers to the benefits to the whole nation from owning and controlling certain products and services, for example, the army or the police force. Public value also requires the concept of equity to make sure that the value is distributed to all citizens. In some circumstances, public value needs a regulator to deal with any market imperfections. Environmental analysis in Chapter 3 can be used for public sector strategy analysis, but they need to be treated with some caution. Turning next to resource analysis, this needs to be given by examining which of the two public sector models, public sector administration or public, new public management, is adopted by the state. The public sector administration model consists of professional civil service bureaucracy that enacts government legislation and administers the activities of the state on behalf of the government, coupled with state monopolies that supply services to citizens. The new public management model is a model of public sector decision-making where the professional civil service operates with more market competition while former state monopolies are divided and compete against each other for business from the citizens.
However, the nation retains some areas under state control, such as the defence of the nation. The public sector administration model does not support competitive advantage. The new public management model does support competitive advantage. And resource-based analysis will include similar concepts to those in business strategy, and these are outlined in Chapter 4, tangible, intangible, and organizational resources, and so on. There are four additional considerations that apply in analyzing resources in the public sector. Number one, appropriate and sufficient resources for the purpose. Number two, public power as a resource. Number three, the costs and benefits of public resources. And number four, persuasion and education as a public resource. Turning to purpose, the key to success for public and sector organisations is the satisfaction of its main stakeholders. So it's necessary to conduct a stakeholder power analysis and seek the views of leading stakeholders. In addition to stakeholder theory, the development of public sector purpose also needs to reflect the general will of the people. Public opinion, therefore, needs to be identified and explored. It's sometimes difficult for citizens to develop an informed choice on complex issues, but such difficulties need to be recognised and resolved. Turning then to the final area of strategic content, context and process, strategic context can follow the options and choice route commonly used in business strategy. However, options associated with the strategic environment need to be treated with considerable caution because the market mechanism is still lacking in much of the public sector. With regard to strategic process, the uncertainties of the public sector favour the use of logical incrementalism as a process. Finally, strategy implementation in the public sector needs to be carefully planned and is best undertaken quickly and smoothly. The form of implementation depends on the scale of what is proposed. Major changes need substantial support. Smaller changes are probably best treated incrementally. In practice, strategy implementation is one of the more difficult areas in public sector strategy.